Um, let's finish this section with the Sunday Mirror, Nick. Yes, they have got, uh, well, Davina, My Wild Party with Rita Ora, which we're going to focus on for about 20 minutes later in the show. Joy and Slimming World for free. I'm not aiming that at anyone. That's just there. Okay. And the other one they've got, which we might tackle now, is 175K asked, why do the royals exist? And they've asked 175,000 randos, just random people, and it's never a good idea. Subjects. Yes. <laughs> why subjects? Exactly. You can't call them that. It's already weighted, but... And they've asked them, what, should the roles exist? But the, the questions kind of lead them in different directions. His questions are like, why do you think, what do you think the main role should be? But it suggests certain options, like to support and encourage public service in charitable sectors, or to provide a sense of continuity and act as a focus for national identity, or to be the supreme governor of the Church of England. Probably a lot of people will learn for the first time that that's what the royal family does, <laughs> and go, oh, that one, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. So it kind of weights it a little bit already. And it also asks them how often they visit a library, have listened to a podcast in the last year, maybe the Weekly Skeptic, and whether they have a smart speaker in their house, which is odd. The people who have Alexa like the king or something? Well, we're about to find <laughs> about out. About to find out <laughs> in the most brutal, stark terms possible. Yeah, it's not very royal, is it, to be doing a customer feedback form? <laughs> I mean, good on them, joining the 21st century, but it's, yeah. it's just not It's just not royal. It, it's all falling apart. It, it shouldn't be royal, but they actually are famous for constantly trying to figure out if the public is in favour of them at various right. times. They shouldn't. They should just rule with an iron fist, just completely absolutist monarchy, but because they're not absolute, it's not an absolute monarchy. They have to constantly check all the time. Yeah, and actually, it is more that they fear... Uh, it's like a spider. They fear you more than you fear yeah, them. Or a because bear. Isn't, like, the second verse of the national anthem kind of a bit, like, stay in your lane, mate, otherwise we will take you down. So there's a... The way that our monarchy works, it looks all very great in a nice hat, but a lot of those rules, apparently, or the things that they do in terms of the, the pomp is to make them look like they have a very small job. Right, they're not in charge of anything anymore. But the only thing I was going to say about this story is 175,000 people, a lot of people to survey, it's just a shame it won't make a blind bit of difference. As if we all tick a box and the king goes, well, I'll do that then. True. And then it's very much the mirror pushing for no monarchy, isn't it, as well, don't you feel? Yes, yes. Well, I that's mean, so taxpayers' money. Who did they think was going to... I mean, it's, it's, I'm not <laughs> surprised it's taxpayers' money.